Back into the Swans lineup was veteran centre half back Billy Pickin for only his second game of the year, while former Brownlow medalist Barry Round defied all the odds to again be named in the side senior 20. After a fright in the final quarter against St Kilda last week, Essendon had made two changes to the side, regaining Nagel and Thompson for Elshaw and Waterson. Our replay tonight begins at the 12 minute mark of the third quarter. Our commentators are Jack Edwards and Peter McKenna. And big Iron Munger for the Swans. It's down. Iron Munger did the shepherding there and actually picked up the free kick because the umpire said Merritt was over his shoulder. <laughs> He's going in and saying, Give me that football, uh, big Iron Munger, as he is in that last line of defence. He should kick the ball instead of looking for the hand pass. And he's gone a shocking kick, it was. Bad play by Iron Munger. It's grabbed by Terry Danaher. He hooks it back. A magnificent looking kick. And he's put it through. Bad play by Iron Munger. And the Swans stay on five goals, 2-32. Essendon moved their score to 11 goals, 8. 74 on seven's big lead. Yes, it wasn't good football for mine, Munger. I think he's come to the wrong side of the ground for starters when you're defending, Pete. Should, it, should have gone the other side. The kick was poor. He's kicked it. He's tried to find, I think, Frank Gardas in between two Essendon players. It was a poor kick. It was just bad football. Centre bounce. Iron Munger in that contest too. Taken away by Mitchell. Given down to Ward Ackerley. Ackerley of the Swans going out to the half-forward flank now. It's a long kick. Bowles is there for Essendon. The man in front looked like Hawk. Couldn't take the ball, and the umpire saying out of bounds. Hawk asking for the free kick for a tackle too high, but the umpire said boundary throw in. Kevin Walsh took the place of Simon Madden in the selected side. Down to the ground it goes. There's Paul Hawk. A long hand pass to Ian Roberts. Good football. Roberts hooks it back. Tony Danaher. He's marked. 20 metres out from goal, directly in front. This should be a goal coming up to the Swans. Well, he was about to play on then, too, and then realised he may not get away with it. So it's uh, Anthony Danaher, about 20 metres out, as Peter McKenna told you. The Swans on 5-2 before the kick. Essendon, 11 goals, 8. The kick from Danaher, didn't leave it short. He put the boot right behind it. Kicked it hard and kicked it straight, and it's through for a goal to the Swans. The Swans on 6-2, 38 points. Essendon, 11-8, 74 on Sevens big league. Yes, and the Swans, they're trying very, very hard at the moment. They're battling it out there. Not a tall side, but they've got it. And Danaher seems to be playing on the wing. And he's sneaked down to the forward line there to take a mark on the chest to a badly needed goal. And Essendon, as I said, are not running away with this game as we thought they would. And, in fact, at the moment, Swans are having as much of the play as them. Yeah, they haven't got as much on the scoreboard, though, Pete. 74 playing 38. Difference there of uh, 26 points so it's still a long way 36 points even at the center bounce the ball put down again iron munger up high but beaten by walsh it's tapped down to browning who moves the ball out a chance for wood wood on the scene for the don just getting caught in the nick of time wood drives down to watson got the hands to it once couldn't hold them up carter with the ball underneath him gets it out he shoveled it out of the pack here's a chance now for thompson to pick up for Essendon, he swings around looking for a hand pass back. He's found Baker. Baker rode the bumps well. Now he's trying to get onto the right foot, decide to go for a long hand pass to Neil Danaher, who was caught. Holding the ball would be the decision. Yes, a lovely tackle there, and this guy is going to be a real player in the future, I reckon. Mark Bays for the Swans. Look at that kick, 60 metre kick, looking for Barry Round, who kicked two goals in the second quarter. Here's Kevin Walsh. He's given away some lovely hand passes today, Kevin Walsh. Over to Brian Wood. Wood towards half forward. Up they go. Packer players in there. Now it's Murphy. No, no, it wasn't. It was Mitchell giving the hand pass to Tony Danaher. A long kick to the pocket. Oh, too slow, those Swans forwards. Too, far too slow. And uh, they couldn't get there before the ball went over the line out of bounds. They had a chance there. There was two against one. There was Carroll and Roberts. And uh, the kick may have been a little bit too long for them, maybe. Right. But long kick wasn't it yeah it was a good kick boundary throw in round looking for the hand pass over he's trying to find someone roberts is in there hooks it back the umpire said there's a free kick going the way of essendon there and it's going to be taken by wood wood coming away with a hand pass from Whoa, the full back position really dangerous this just got out of it hand passes back again and Essendon carry the ball away from defence with hand passes. Yes, that was uh, Neil Danaher eventually to Paul Weston. Browning punches the ball away. Over the back, there's a bit of heavy work going on. And Browning's hurt. Browning is down. Is it cramp? No, he's getting up again. So that's good news for the Swans as we see an iron munger against Walsh. 
down to the ground it goes. Kicked off the ground with a tempted kick by Ironmonger. Ackerley over there to Browning. Browning dispossessed of the ball. It's grabbed by Hawker. Good football. Up towards Danaher and Carter. Over the back. A chance there for Frangalis against Watson. But the ball beats them all. Watson copped one there from Billy Picken as he ran through. Over the line it goes and out of bounds. In the Essendon forward pocket, the ball will be brought back into play with Essendon on 74 points and the Swans on 38 points, 15 minutes into the third term. Now a chance for the Bombers to get a goal here. Einmunger hooks it down, Ackerley was in there. Merritt has a spur. So he's got to say have a shot, but he's gone across the face of goal. Could have been a free kick to Billy Pickin there. Well, that was a magnificent effort, that by Pickin. He kept his eyes on the ball. He didn't take them off at any stage and lunged at the ball and forced the uh, Essendon player to give him a free kick. Oh, Frank Garlis had a touch of the fumbles. He gets away after receiving a handball from Mitchell. He goes for a lovely pass to half-back flank and David Murphy. Not having a bad quarter, David Murphy, but the Swans has taken a good mark on half-back flank. Come into the centre too, looking for Bays. He's there. A good pair, not a bad pair of hands. He couldn't hold that one, though. Hand pass comes out. Now the chance for Essendon to come forward again as the sharp pass by Donnell comes to Hawker. Hawker gives it back to Donnell. He'll make the distance. He'll shoot for goal. Donnell goes forward, but he's missed it. He did a good job there, he's Donnell, to get that lot of the right down. Enormous pace, Jack, uh, Frank Donnell. They've moved on to 11-9, Essendon. Swans on 6-2. So they're, uh, what's that, five goals, seven in front, but they're not increasing it at the moment. The Swans just hanging in there. And uh... Well, at quarter time, they were 32 points up, half time, 42 points up. From the full back position, Ironmonger flies, should have gone the spoil. He'd actually tried to outmark Neagle from the back, and Neagle will be paid the mark. He can't believe it, Ironmonger. <laughs> Look oh, at him. Well, he's, he's, it wasn't <laughs> his mark, it was I Neagle's agree mark. With the umpire. There's the kick from Neagle. Across the goals to the forward pocket. Holden looking for a hand pass. Hawk back to Murphy. Murphy up to the half forward zone, but a little directed kick straight to Hurd. Hurd swinging back to the centre where there are three Essendon players in there. Van der Haar got in the way, put the hands up, tried oh. to take the mark but couldn't. Little Mitchell got a hand pass back. It's right, got a hand pass working to Holden. Holden getting caught, gets the kick away in the nick of time up toward the half forward zone for the Swans. They can't do much with it yet. Suck it off the ground by Watson. That's a throw, that one. Neagle got a hand pass out, and the Bombers will take it away again. Neil Danaher. Dersma. He's a very good defender, Jamie Dersma, after coming across from Hawthorne. There's Frangalis. Oh, he's got to get rid of it quickly. And he hooks it straight down there, centre wing, to Gary Foles. But I like the Dersma. I reckon he's a, uh, turned into a very good defensive player. Down it comes towards half-court. Essendon not playing well at the moment, as we see the mark taken down there by Ackerley. Ackerley kicks it towards Round. Round, Walsh over the back. Big Kevin Walsh. No mark. Play on. Good umpiring as Vanderhaar. Tried to steal the mark. Play on now, said the umpire. Mark Bays up towards uh, little Barry Mitchell. Where's the lead? Ducking back is Dennis Carroll. He's got it. It hits the deck. It's picked up by Bertie Evans. He snaps. He's put it through. Good play, the Swans. Well, they needed that one too. But the Bombers, as Peter said, aren't getting away. Essendon on 11-9-75. The Swans move now to 7-2-44. They're but not... Not I getting away, are they? I think the Swans are playing just as well. I think full marks to the back line of the Swans. Dersma is doing an excellent job. Carter's doing well on Danaher. Browning's lifted his game. And uh, Frangala's doing well down there. Pickin doing. The whole Swans back line is doing pretty well at the moment against a very talented opposition. Swans have picked up 11 points on Essendon in this third term, and the term is 18 and a half minutes old. At the half and a half forward, round picks up, hurries the ball to the forward pocket, it's going to bounce in no man's land and run toward the boundary line and we'll see a boundary throw in. Uh, the Swans have got to kick long up to the goal square to Dennis Carroll and they must have one of those little men scouting around to feed off him and I refer to uh, Evans and Mitchell, they've got to get in there around the packs because they're doing alright at the moment, round has made a difference to this side since coming on the ground. It's half-back flank. There's some pace. Gary Foles. Beautiful football, Foles. He brings it out of defence. He's looking down towards uh, the half-forward line. It's a free kick going to the Swans. So they're doing all right in the free kicks department as we see who's going to take this one. Jamie Dersma, but I'm very impressed with this player, Jack. Well, he's doing well today. Dersma moves the ball up to the half-forward zone. The Essendon defence now under a bit of pressure because, as Peter said, the Swans aren't doing a bad job. 
That could have been a free kick for the Swans. Well, they're all one. appealing for it, oh. but the umpire's not going to pay it. He's going to put the ball down, Holden having a little bit of a smile there. There's about 25 players in that pack and two players on the Swans forward line. Well, if they could move it up there quickly, they might be able to take well. advantage of it. But now it's Van der Haar with the ball for Essendon, hooking it back across the ground to Ward Wood. Wood should get away here from uh, Anthony Danaher. He gets a hand pass working to Thompson. Thompson looking downfield. That's uh, up high now. Iron Munger there should have oh, taken it. Uh, should have taken the mark, dumped it down and taken by Thompson once again. So, Mick Thompson into the forward pocket area, nearly out of bounds on the full, I thought. Why, uh, would, why when you're six foot six, would you punch the ball away when you could mark it? Well done, Holden, as he chipped it in. But here's a chance. Mervyn Neagle hooks it across his body, and I think he's put it out of bounds on the full. He has, I can't understand, six foot six on your own, and he punched the ball away. Well, he certainly did that. Bill Pickett with the ball. In the back pocket, asking for room. <laughs> Picking, kicking high to the half forwards. And Ironmongers is going to try and mark this one, and he did. So he's taken the mark on the half back line. And he moves it quickly. They're all calling for it oh, up on the half forward zone. Browning drives in the directions of Bays. He's up. Yes. Takes the mark, too. Move it on, Long like Peter kick. McKenna said. That's right. Up it goes now. There's a chance for the Swans here. The mark has been taken by Carol. Peter, you're a good coach. Ah, oh, look, it's it's common sense. You've got a, a talented full forward, a very good player, Dennis Carroll, a state player, and uh, they're kicking short. Now, if they kick long and he's one out with Weston, he's a good chance, and he's normally an excellent kick for goal, but they're playing well at the moment, the Swans. He's Here's put it kick. through. It's a goal. The Swans getting back. They have moved on, they said eight goals, two, trailing Essendon, 11-9. I don't think Sheedy would be happy with this quarter. It's big league at nearly the 22-minute mark of the third quarter. If the Swans get a couple of quick goals, you know, they could be right into this game. Ackerley stands his ground, did it well. Drives back to the half-forward zone. Barry Rounds there, but he's actually doing the roving. Rounds going to shoot toward goal. Oh. It's off <laughs> He hasn't got within 30 metres of the oh, goal. Very round. That was I a think, shot. Well, I think he got a shot when he fell into his hands and he's never sprinted for goal in his life and had a shot like that and I think he got a fright. Well, it's up there in the Swans forward line. Anyhow, they're trailing Essendon by 25 points with the time clock 22 and a half minutes into the third turn. It's in the Swans forward zone, as I said, on, on the ground and the umpire said a free kick to Essendon. Yes, and uh, they haven't had a great go as far as free kicks today. I'm not saying that uh, umpires have been biased in any way, but I'm just saying Swans have had a lot more free kicks. Over the back of the pack is Paul Hawke. He goes for a hand pass to Stephen Wright. He kicks long, and he fires with Swale at bounce. Oh, the wrong side, and it's a point, but the Swans are well on top of the Bombers in this quarter. Bradbury coming off the ground for Carey. Carey's first appearance this afternoon. And from the full back position with the Swans within four goals of Essendon. Maybe there's a bit of pressure being applied now. Wood on the uh, half-back flank for Essendon has taken the mark and will look in toward Van der Haar. The kick in that direction, but Van der Haar is actually doing the roving. There he is at the back of the pack, waiting on Thompson, looking for a hand pass. It's holding the ball for mine. Van der Haar now in the action. Held but not in possession and will take the free kick. Van der Haar will be looking for Walsh, possibly. The umpire moving the man on the mark back going to kick long toward the goal square. It's one for the Rovers, I would think. They're up high. It's hit the turf now. Danaher, hand passes over the top. Baker's a charge. He shoots. It's a goal. Good goal. Kicked by Leon Baker. Good piece of forward work on that occasion. And Essendon get back. They pitch another goal on the Swans. Essendon, 12-9-81. The Swans, 8-3-51 on sevens, big league. Well, they needed that one, Jack, uh, the Bombers. Uh, they were getting into a bit of a hole. They've still got a very good lead, by the way. It's a uh, five-goals five. lead, and the Swans will find that difficult to catch up. But I think that the Swans are starting to get on top, and I, I don't think Essendon were playing well at all, and they badly needed a bit of a lift. Right at the centre bounce, Ironmonger taken on by Merritt. The ball comes down to the side of the pack, and through Murphy, the Swans come forward. He's going to kick long. It's up there for Carroll again. Carroll against Weston, Carroll oh. didn't hold it. It's on the turf, he fights back. In there's Kerry, threw the ball away. On the turf it is again, toward the boundary line it travels. Neil Danaher got a hand pass back. It's a chance for Evans, is it? He shoots toward goal. It's a goal. Good goal on that occasion, he kicks his second goal, Bernie Evans, and my gee, 
Not a bad game of football. Yes, it, uh, the scoreboard showing 12-9 Essendon, the Swans 9-3, but it's a better game than that because this has been an excellent quarter by the Swans at half-time. In fact, they were four goals, two. They've kicked five goals, one for the quarter. Bernie Evans starting to come into the game after a very quiet half playing on Shane Hurd. The Swans 5-1, Essendon 2-1 in the third term on Sevens Big League. Merritt up, but the ball comes down to Ward Mitchell. Gets shot out of the pack over to Ward Murphy again, but Hawks there for the Swans. Picking up now and moving the ball up. It's been taken away by Bays. Bays kicking into the forward pocket, but up, off the side of the boot a bit, I would think, and the ball out of bounds on the full. I reckon that young Bays has uh, got the potential to be anything in future years. This is Paul Weston on screen about to bring it back. Oh, Good booming kick, kick a 65 metre kick. Mark. Goes straight. This player. That's right, I'll give him another rap. I reckon Dersma's turned into a very good league defender as we see two slow was Barry Mitchell getting rid of that one. Carter goes in, taken away by Glenn Hawker. Hawker kicks it back towards the forward line. Well done, Mark Browning, he's got it. Oh, grabbed high as he, uh, yes, I would have played that one. Browning on half-back, Mike Hill doing. No, it's a wobbly old one for Mark Browning. Over the back, a lovely mark by Brian Wood. Over to Vanderhaar. There, here's danger. Vanderhaar, a long kick. Danaher and Picken, and the ever-reliable Billy Picken's taken a very, very good mark. Their defence is all right, the Swans. It's just their forward line needs a bit of topping up. Right out it goes at the half-back zone. It's taken here by Murphy. He in trouble to Hawk. Hawk's little kick gets him out of trouble, but it puts the team in bother. Oh, he's picked up a free kick for trip. Hawker was just about to put Essendon forward there, but the free kick going back to Paul Hawk at the Swans. Into the half forward zone he goes. Big Barry rounds there with Ironmonger. The ball's on the turf. Can they get it out of that pack? I don't think so. And we'll see a bounce taking place nearly in the centre of the ground. As we approach the 27 minute mark of the third term, 81 playing 57 in Essendon's favour, but the Swans have fought back. Evans got the hand pass away, taken by Wood. Wood can't get the kick away. Neagle caught, loses his shorts. The ball's on the turf, taken away here by Dersma, hooks it back to Bayes, and Bayes takes the mark. Oh, he's yeah, the umpire paid the free kick, not the mark. What's the way this bloke kicks a football, Jack? Right, I'll watch. He is a beautiful kick. Well, now, he's look. right on the edge of the centre square. Now, if he can put this through, I'll say he can kick. Well, he can kick a football, all right. You watch this. He's hooked it a bit. It won't score. It's going over the line, off the hands of the players. Yeah, yeah it's boundary throw. Look at the distance. A long, long way, that kick. And uh, he's playing well. The black I am wrapped in in this quarter is Dersman, number 20. He's had an excellent quarter down there in defence. There's Merritt. Now it's Barry Round. He's trying his heart out. Now it's uh, Bernie Evans with a hand pass back. A chance for little Mitchell. Mitchell with a long hand pass to Evans. Off his hands, over the line, and out of bounds. Essendon in this quarter. They started off at 10-8, and they've gone on to two goals. They've kicked two goals, one. Yes, 5-1 to 2-1, Pete. 5-1 to 2 one. So you can see it's been an excellent quarter by the Swans. All right, can the Swans get a goal in this little encounter from the boundary throw-in? Woods go to change the pattern. Hook it back. Oh, here's a go for Danaher. All by himself is Anthony Danaher. Can he get the ball moving? He's gone for short pass. I thought he may have had a shot. Maybe he should have had a shot. He's he on should've. the wrong foot. He, yeah, but he could have easily dodged that player there. He would have been better off trying to get round him and have a shot because his man, the man he kicked it to, was covered as we see Merritt down to the ground. Ian Roberts. In he goes after it, burrowing in after it, right in front of the Swans' goal. This has been a, an excellent quarter by the Swans. And the Bombers, well, there's the siren to win the third quarter here at Windy Hill. Essendon still with a good lead. 12-9, 81 to the Swans, 9-3, 57. Peter McKenna and Jack Edwards, our commentators at Windy Hill this afternoon. Essendon getting off to a great start, leading by 32 points at the first change, 42 at half-time, and coincidentally that was the winning margin for the Bombers this afternoon over the Sydney team by 42 points. We look at the stats and we see that Essendon on top in all departments, excepting, as Peter McKenna pointed out, the free kicks the Swans doing quite nicely there, thank you, 37 to 19. In the goals at Windy Hill this afternoon for Essendon, Van der Haar got three and a number of players finishing up with two goals. And for the Swans, uh, Danaher got two, Evans two, and Barry Round also kicked two goals.